Good day viewers, Sepp here. I just thought what we do today is go out to our Red Centre caravan and have a closer look at the Dexter Torflex suspension underneath it. <laughs> Here we are underneath the van, just have a look at this um, independent suspension, it's a um, Dexter Torflex suspension and I thought we'd do a little bit of a look underneath just to give you a bit of an idea what it all looks like. Like I said before, plenty of ground clearance. It looks like it's bent in the middle, but that's how they are. That's how they get the wheel alignment. They bend them. That's basically what it looks like. And just while I'm under here, I managed to give you another bit more of a look. set up here there's your indicator up there how much water's in your tank that's your overflow when you fill it that's your fill point that's when you want to discharge the tank clean it out the intake off the water from your water pump inside yeah, so there it is. Dexter Torflex suspension. Back in the garage from having a bit of a look at that Torflex suspension. And what can I tell you about it? Okay, so the caravan weighs 2.6 ton, uh, fully loaded. And we just did a trip, or just back from a trip not long ago, up north. And um, the van was fully loaded at 2.6 ton, full water tanks and um, the suspension was really good uh, we encountered some really rough roads like really rough um, we're on the bitumen most of the way uh, 12,000 k's we did in three months and some of the roads especially in queensland and coming down through uh, new south wales um, in, in the new south wales oh jesus it was rough and um, you know it really tested the van out um, some of the um, culverts that I crossed through, the um, you know the, the floodways, I won you know 80, 85 k's an hour, 90 sometimes, and I thought at one stage I hit one of these culverts that hard, I thought the caravan might have left the ground, but um, look the suspension held up really well um, in that 12,000 k trip we did, uh, we didn't have anything go wrong with the caravan, all that happened was a couple of screws one screw out of the microwave that secures into the framework that popped out which is now it's all now riveted in and one screw that holds the grill underneath the uh, stove uh, that came out so that was really just a matter of replacing it with a with a different screw so other than that um, I think the the uh, suspension works really well um, it's, I suppose it's an alternative to the really expensive ones like airbags and uh, cross-country um, type suspension units that you might um, think you need in the van and, and you know at, at times you probably or a lot of the times you may not even get the full use of it because if you're on the blacktop um, sometimes you don't really need it but just getting back to the uh, four flex suspension uh, you know it really worked well for us uh, I, I was really happy with it and uh, we had no dramas at all with the van I said it's a red center van um, 18 foot long single axle and um, I was really happy it all went well. Okay, if you've got any questions about the suspension, just leave them in the comments for me. Um, other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy and see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.